Huh? Yeah, I found the glitch in the log off procedure. I guess if you log off and you don't close your files, the system thinks you're off, but you're really not. No, you don't have to close files. The hell is all this stuff? Well, congratulations, Hotshot. You're in three hundred dollars. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch Sanders. Can I get that from you today? Sure, I'll, I'll go to the bank and drop it off at your house this afternoon. Uh, not at my house, okay? Could you drop it off the go-kart track on Parthenia? It's Thompson go-kart. Sure, what time? After school, at 4 o'clock. It's real important that a couple of my friends might never speak to me again. I'll be there four sharp. Hey, and Richie, thanks. You did great. You're welcome. I'm sorry to bother you, Ted, but uh, we got a little problem. Actually, it's a big problem. What is it? Look at this. I decided to test the new security program that Carl wrote. So I hired a kid I know to try and break in. He did. He found this. A kid? Who gave you the authority to do that? I'm in charge of data processing, Ted. It's my job to test new programs. See what kind of bugs are in them. Well, does the kid know what he found? No. Do you? Yeah. I've been studying those files since five this morning. Ted, there's a secret project going on. Kathy Fairgate's involved, and Carl, he must be too. He's the only one who could have hidden these programs inside the computer. They've been running molecular simulations on a liquid form of nerve gas. It's incredibly potent, and it's stable in water for up to 72 hours. You can kill half the population of a major city. I suppose they're going to sell it to somebody, and it looks like they're almost finished. We're going to have to move fast. Call the FBI. I don't know. I do. Hi, guys. Did you hear something? Hi, Alice. Hey, it's Richie. Oh, man, he wow. spoke to us. You must think we're computers or something. No, <laughs> robots. He thinks we're robots. <laughs> Richie, you know what you ought to do? Teach Ralph to cook. Cook? Sure. Because then when he makes you seafood, you'll have fish and chips. Get it? Fish and chips? <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me a break. Uh, I've got a surprise for you. What? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. Just wait till 4 o'clock, okay? I'm sorry about yesterday. Mm. All right. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure. Talk. I was wondering if you're going to the game Friday night. Of course I'm going to the game. Okay, great. I'll see you there then. She won't be too hard to find. She'll be sitting with me. I'll sit where I want to, okay? What the hell is this? What? What is it? You better call Rifford in here fast. Keep walking, Irwin, or I'll shoot you right on the spot. Calm down, Ted. I'm not going to try anything. And it wouldn't kill me if I were you. Not until Carl tells you what I've done. Subjects, Ted 
Reichert, VP Marketing, Erwin Sanders, Standard Processing. Maybe Reichert's doing a little midnight marketing on the side. Oh, what in the world is a logic bomb? I programmed the computer to call Carl and me at certain intervals. The right code didn't enter before the countdown ends. The computer eats all its data, starting with the water project. Then it alerts every user. Into the code. Sure, Carl. Look, Carl, can't you defuse it or something? I wouldn't try it. It took the bomb, believe me. Oh, and by the way, each time it has to call. The time limit gets shorter. And the code's different every time. I knew when I saw what this project was, I'd better protect myself. And you had better make sure nothing happens to me, Ted. You just got here, Richie. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Yep. How much did it cost? Two hundred ninety-four fifty with tax. The best one you can buy. Special order did. Yeah, and uh, as soon as Mr. Sanders gets here at four o'clock for the money, it's all ours. See, that's why I was working on the computer thing to get the money to buy it. Am I forgiven? Yeah. Time to go, kid. Well, I caught him in his house. He's not there. Well, he would have told me about that. Are you sure? I'm sorry, kids, but I gotta lock up now. Maybe tomorrow, huh? Yeah, thanks. The receptionist says he's on a business trip. But he wouldn't do that to me. You know how important this was. There's something wrong. Mom, did Mr. Sanders' caller come by or anything? No, why? Nothing. Shut the door, please, Cheryl. out of town on business, direct all inquiries to Ted Riker. That doesn't make any sense. Not even in the kidneys after six hours. And we can still meet the timetable and deliver tomorrow? Don't see why not. 